All right, let's talk bankroll management, which is potentially the most overlooked, but also the most important aspect to become a profitable plus EV sports better. Welcome to Juice Bets. My name is Trevor. And today, this is something that you know a lot of people kind of overlook and might ask here and there and, and get an answer. But let's really dive into the details on what makes a profitable bankroll management strategy. What are the things you want to look for? How can you you know use math to help you with this? Is there any formula to use? Let's dive in. So obviously, with bankroll management, this is you know the whole point of this is to keep you around as long as possible. Because as we know with Plus EV Sports Betting, it's profitable long-term, but sometimes you know you can run into long stretches, week, two weeks, even a month long, where you're losing, right? You're in the red. And you wanna have a bankroll management strategy that provides you with a long runway you know, that, that can keep you around. I, I've used this you know, terminology before. We wanna be cockroaches in this space, right? We, we wanna be, you know, we can, you can get hit by tons of t terrible, bad variants, and we're gonna stick around and continue to place the same bets and not adjust our units. Because that is something that, you know, you really don't wanna be doing is adjusting your units based on if you're winning or losing. So we wanna stick around and have a bankroll management strategy that provides us with as the most profits, but also minimizing the risk. So let's just start off with a basic bankroll management strategy that you can, you know, you could click off this video right now and, and run with it and you're probably going to be fine. At the end of the day, you want to make sure that your unit size or whatever you're placing, you know, a bet size, right? Whatever you're placing on a given bet or a given parlay, you want to make sure that that unit size is between 0.5 and 1% of your bankroll. 1% of your bankroll is an aggressive, <laughs> I, you know, pretty aggressive uh, uh, bankroll management, right? Because you are basically, you know, if, if you're putting in 20 bets, well, you're wagering 20% of your bankroll. So that's the upper echelon. And if you want to be risky, maybe if you have low capital, if you're just starting with $200, $300 and you want to, you know, basically you're okay to deposit more and you want to increase uh, the, the profit potential, then you might want to go up to that 1% range, right? Where you're a bit more risky, but you're able to win more, you know, if, if you should win. And then on the lower end, uh, I'm, I'm saying 0.5% is kind of the ideal, but you could even go lower down to 0.25% of your bankroll. And so that's kind of uh, the range that I would recommend. And this is perfect for uh, DFS platforms, fixed payout platforms like Prize Picks, Underdog, Parlay Play. And this is what I recommend in the VIP Discord server, 0.5 to 1% of your bankroll. As your bankroll gets bigger, you might want to lower uh, the percentage down to 0.5, down to 0.25, because you're still using unit sizes that can provide you know, a good amount of profit. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the, the baseline that I'll, I'll start off with here. And then let's get a little bit more detailed and we're gonna look at the Kelly Criterion, which is a strategy that uses a formula. And this is really, really good for straight betting, especially on Odds Jam. So if you wanna use a formula and adjust the percentage of bankroll that you're putting on a given bet based on how plus EV it is, that's exactly what the Kelly Criterion will do. And Odds Jam has an incredible calculator that will allow you to kind of understand how this works and, and adjust it based on the bet. And then also you can go into your settings in Odds Jam, enter in your whole bankroll, and then when you go to the positive EV tool, it will actually spit out how much you should be putting on each individual bet, right? So I put in a bankroll of 5,000, and this is you know what I'm being told to place on each bet based off of my risk preferences and all of that. So let's go back to the Kelly Criterion calculator here and dig into exactly what this is, right? So what is the optimal bet size? 5%, 2.5% each wager. This is exactly what the Kelly Criterion sports betting calculator tells you. A mathematical betting formula that calculates the amount you should stake when there's a discrepancy between given odds and the fair odds, right? That's what plus EV is. So obviously we want to find plus EV bets. We're not gonna be taking negative EV bets, right? And so what is this Kelly Criterion, right? So basically what it does is it, it takes into account the plus, the, the how 
um, how plus EV it is, what the expected value is. Obviously, we're looking for one that is positive, right? And so using this criterion can help maximize the potential profit in the long run and keep your bankroll managed to avoid you losing it all in just a few plays, right? So let's see, how is this calculated? The goal of the Kelly Criterion is to keep you from losing your entire bankroll. Of course, it provides a proper percentage of your bankroll that you should be betting based on the probability of the play winning, right? The equation is simple. You multiply the percent chance to win by two, then subtract one, and you have your wager size percentage. Now, this actually does change based on this multiplier here. So for all intents and purposes here, we're looking at just basically what's your bankroll, right? How risky do you want to be? And then Odds Jam will tell you on the plus EV page, you know, when you're using this formula here. So the Kelly multiplier is basically a number between zero and one. One being super risky, zero being, or 0 0.01 as the lowest one, being very risk adverse. And so for me, I am always hovering between 0 0.25 and 0 0.5 in this Kelly multiplier, right? And so what this multiplier does is it will basically just increase, you know, um, you can use this number as a risk tolerance, right? And so this multiplier will increase the size of these bets. So what I would always recommend when you're starting out, do your Kelly multiplier at 0.25, enter in your bankroll, and then you'll be on your way. So as an example, let's look at how the Kelly criterion will you know, spit out a number for you to place your bet on, right? So let's say we're taking this bet here and we wanna know, well, how much should I put on this? Obviously, Odds Jam has a nice you know, kind of integrated feature where you can put your bankroll and it will tell you right here and it makes things super, super simple. But let's say we don't have that, right? And so we've got over seven in this Cardinals and Steelers game plus 140, the no vig fair odds plus 113, right? So plus 113 and, um, and, and let's head over to the calculator and put that in there. So plus 140 usually, but then plus 113. So for the fair odds. So now we want to head over and find out what this win percentage is. And again, we can use odds GM's calculators to find that out. So implied probability, we'll put in the plus 113. So here's the actual win percentage for that specific bet. We'll go back to the calculator. Again, this is why I like to have it integrated in the software so you don't have to do this every time, right? The win percentage is here. It was plus 140 is what we're getting offered at. And the Kelly multiplier is 0 0.25, the lower risk one. So basically, you know, um, it's saying that the fraction of your bankroll to wager here, this is a 12% play. You should be putting 2.26% of your bankroll on this wager here. Um, and so with a 5K bankroll, $113, right? So again, a 2%, you know, um, bet size for from your bankroll is definitely aggressive. However, this is a high percentage play. And, um, you know, you could adjust your Kelly multiplier down to 0.1 if you'd like. And then, you know, now we're hovering around 1% of your bankroll. And so again, it's something to play around with, something to understand what that risk tolerance is for you. But at the end of the day, I would highly recommend using the Kelly Criterion specifically for straight betting because the plus EV, you know, number, what what percent EV um, spe a specific bet is will dictate how much you should be betting on it. So all in all, bankroll management strategy is to keep you around as long as possible and prevent that bankroll from going to zero, right? Because as we know, plus EV sports betting is profitable long term. We want to keep you around for you to realize those profits, right? So there's two kind of two versions that you can go about. Number one, you can kind of stick to a 0.5% of your bankroll and just run with that. Or depending, you know, on if you're straight betting or using parlays, if you're straight betting on Odds Jam, I'd highly recommend to use that Kelly criterion to use a formula to place those bets and to adjust that bet size based on how profitable that specific bet is. So hopefully this cleared some things up. If you have any more questions, feel free to, to drop those in the comments down below. I'll be happy to answer those. Also jump into our VIP Discord. We've got tons of sharp sports bettors in there that'll be happy to answer your questions. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day and we'll see you tomorrow.